What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here, back with a new video. Now if you check your phone, you might realize that there's a new software update. Yes, iOS 16, it's here. There's a couple of hidden features you guys might not know about. And if you're brand new to iOS 16, this is gonna be the perfect video to just show you guys around and all the new features that you should know about. So without any further ado, enough of me talking, let's jump right into it. Okay, so before we actually dive in, in order to get iOS 16, you will need an iPhone 8 or later. Also, some features of iOS 16 requires the A11 Bionic chip like live text and visual lookups. But aside from that, we're good to go. First thing first, let's talk about the lock screen. This is the first thing you probably realize that has changed and like, yo, what the hell is this? Well, this lock screen has a few tricks up its sleeve. You could customize your iPhone's lock screen with different fonts, colors. To push things further, you could add small widgets to the lock screen as well. I usually opt out of adding widgets to the lock screen because I don't think it looks visually, you know, aesthetic or clean, but hey, at least it's functional. Depending on the image you also use for your lock screen, the clock also has a depth effect and it works great for like tall buildings or portraits like you can see here for myself. So you should definitely try it on and play out with it and see what you like. But me personally, this is how I like having my lock screen super clean and minimal. Next up, the messages. And with this new iMessage update, there's a couple new tricks and tips. The most goated one is that now we're able to unsend messages. So you could even send a risky text or if you made a typo, you could edit it or unsend that message within two minutes or up to 15 minutes of sending it but keep in mind that the receiver also has to be on is 16 as well for this to show on their end aside from that you could also mark text as unread which is clutch if you don't just want to reply right now you could always follow up later with that text as if it was brand new now if you accidentally deleted a thread and you want to recover it you can now recover them within 30 days of those messages being deleted just by tapping on the edit on the top Top left show recently deleted then hit recover now let's talk about iOS 16 and dictation now this might not be a crazy wall factor to you guys but dictation in iOS 16 has improved tremendously it now adds punctuations and overall just performs way better by catching up to the likes of the Google Pixel 6 with this phenomenal dictation system if you guys use dictation a lot this might come in handy for me personally I use it a lot if I'm driving or I'm just walking and I don't have the time to text so I love the new improvement here. Next up, the iOS Mail app. Surprisingly, this got a cool new update. It allows you to send and unsend messages, but I'm not sure who uses the default Mail app, but if you do, that's some good news for you. The Safari app has also been tweaked a little. You can now share tab groups with friends or co-workers to work on projects together, or if you're just sharing like a tutorial with someone with instructions, you just grab a few, you know, Safari group tabs, share it to them, and they'll be good to go. So if you only bought an Apple Watch to keep up with your move goals you don't really need to make that sacrifice anymore because if you just want to check how many steps you got and stuff like that in more detail there's not a dedicated app in iOS 16 that tracks your steps distance traveled and calories burn hopefully this motivates you guys to get up and go get it inside the photos app though a lot has changed firstly there's a new duplicates folder in iOS 16 so if the AI thinks that you have two of the same images or the images look very similar we can now merge the images into one to save space or you could choose to delete them entirely or just delete one specifically which is really cool recently deleted and hidden photos now requires a password or face ID to get into these folders honestly this is such a good feature Thank you, Apple. Live text and visual lookup has also improved. In iOS 16, we can now copy text in videos just like we can in photos. Action buttons also relate to, you know, the identified text. As you can see with DJ Kelly right here, you could just copy whatever is on his shirt and that's a video. So that's really sick. You can also now long press on subjects in the photos app, either it's a video or a picture and it will magically make a PNG cutout sticker that you could share with your friends or just do something creative with it like make memes or something. I don't know. In iOS 16, we could finally go into our Wi-Fi password list to see previously passwords for networks we've been connected to and copy and paste those, share them to friends or just use them for personal use sliding over to the keyboard side for years we haven't had haptic feedback on the keyboard while typing and i know most people don't care about this but do me a favor 
go into your settings, sound and haptics, and enable keyboard feedback. Just thank me later. Now, some other small changes are that if you have an iPhone with Face ID, you could now unlock your phone with Face ID while in landscape mode. So if you're ever watching like a YouTube video or something and your phone locks by accident, you don't have to rotate if you're already super comfortable. Just swipe up with Face ID and you're good to go. The weather app also got a visual overhaul and it looks pretty sick. And it also has live animations if it's raining, if there's a thunderstorm or if it's snowing, it looks really nice. There's also a new option to show battery percentage in iOS 16 so you could toggle that on and off depending on how you like it and yeah that's it that's all the major cool and new features that I found in iOS 16 if you guys find any hidden gems let's talk down below in the comments help each other out and let me know as well did you order the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro or not before we go though don't forget to subscribe to the channel I will be doing an unboxing and review of the brand new iPhone 14s Apple watch day in the life of the Apple watch all that good stuff so if you guys don't want to miss it Hit that like button. Let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Smash the notification bell. Let's go crazy. Drop a comment. All the good stuff. As always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.